All right, let's get going with our slow roasted lamb shank with a garlic and rosemary. Lamb shank is by far the easiest lamb you can do at home, okay? It is so tender, so succulent. Uh, you eat it all. Uh, there's not a lot of fat on there. I know it looks like there's a lot, but all that's going to melt off, okay? Lamb shank is not expensive compared to uh, leg of lamb, uh, lamb rack, lamb loin, super expensive. All right, so here we go. We've got two lamb shanks. I'm going to cover it in olive oil, about a tablespoon I drizzled over. Salt and pepper. Okay, now again, you heard me before. When you salt these meats for roasting, you got to be pretty generous because that salt's all you got going. It's got to flavor everything. All right, so salt and pepper. Now, the first step here, the oven is on 450 degrees, all right, a very hot oven. I'm going to leave this foil open, and I'm just going to brown this lamb shank. Hey, see how they flipped over? Uh, I'm going to brown these lamb shanks in a hot oven for uh, 30 minutes, okay? And then we're going to wrap them up with our garlic and herbs and really slow roast them, okay? So first step is fast roast. That was 450 degrees for 30 minutes, and that's what it's going to look like. See, I'm pointing at it. All right, now once you've roasted it in that hot oven, you're going to turn the oven down to 200, and we're going to start flavoring this. Okay, that is about four or five cloves of crushed garlic. I just used the flat of a knife and just crushed it, not too small. I got five or six uh, sprigs of rosemary and uh, five or six sprigs of fresh thyme. And again, any combination of herbs works, uh, but the thyme and the rosemary classic with this lamb. And that garlic and that rosemary and that thyme is going to just scent and flavor this lamb as it slow roasts in its own juices. And what you see when I unwrap this is just going to be a thing of beauty. Now, again, I'm not kidding. Why would I kid you? Three hours, three hours at 200 degrees. Now, I know it's a very low oven, so that's why it's going to take three hours. And basically, it's going to cook in its own juices really slowly. Okay? Now, here's what I did. Before I put it in, I'm going to take another piece of foil, okay? So I wrapped it back up in the original piece of foil, and I took a second sheet of foil just so I know it's all pretty airtight. Again, I want it to be nice and airtight because I want it to basically uh, cook in its own goodness here. I don't want it, all that moisture escaping. It'll get too dry. And that, three hours later, totally worth the wait, is what you're going to have. Now be careful. It gets really sticky and gummy because it's so rich and succulent. So don't just yank it off the foil. You'll lose the meat because it's so tender. So just pull it up gently. Okay, we're going to take off that roasted garlic and that little branches of thyme and rosemary. That is unbelievably beautiful. It looks like it's lacquered. Okay, I'm going to serve this on a white bean ragu that's also on the site. And as far as lamb goes, that is about as good as it gets. That meat, you can take a fork. It's just going to fall right off the bone. It's a sweet, sticky, aromatic, flavorful. Uh, if you don't like lamb, try this. Okay. If you like lamb, definitely try this. And if you're not sure, try it. You're going to love this. All right. So anyway, give that a try and uh, enjoy.